Libra, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I'll be doing a reading for Libra. It is for the middle of November. We are in Scorpio season. But as always, do check out other signs in your chart. I always advise at least to check one more, one other <laughs> sign because you, yeah, you can analyze it <laughs> and get perspective. I don't think we ever are just one sign, but that's just, yeah, my advice, especially when it comes to love. Perhaps, perhaps when you look at other, you know, maybe general readings, um, your sun sign, but love readings, personally, uh, I think checking out a few signs in your chart. Uh, could give a better perspective and remember that uh, you know the readings are not personal <laughs> so if uh, I hit uh, the, the needle on the head let's say uh, a time with you doesn't mean it uh, doesn't mean that it's you know going to be resonating every time because it's impossible right but if it does that's great now I am done with the shuffle and the waffle let's start your reading Please like, subscribe, share the video if it resonates with you. All right. So, yeah, I saw this in the corner of my eye. Um, King of Cups. Hmm. Now, this is someone that... It's, it's, well, they can fall in love at first sight, but they also know they want a relationship at first sight too. This is someone that is very stable in their emotions. They don't always express their emotions because even if they are in their emotions, sometimes the King of Cups uh, assume that any, anyone can see it on the outside. But that's not always the case as well. So, Libra... Now, there might have been a, a quick change, change of uh, circumstances. It happened quickly. You decided to turn away from someone. Turning away from someone might have made you feel a bit, mm, what happened there? It was just something quickly that happened. Um, and it's not always how, you, how it's seen. Because someone's sharp words could have come in and or they could have done something. And you were like, what was that all about? Or, you know, you... Could have made a decision to okay well i guess i guess we we are not speaking or i guess this person have changed course or you 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 made up your mind mm, you made up your mind about someone libra because it had some some of you it, this person did something that was like quite um destructive so it was that very obvious for you to turn away so uh, it could also have made you see, see red. This person's wearing red. It's just that bleeding heart or it's that, well, I thought we were going somewhere, but I guess not. That's the conclusion you took. But then at the same time, Libra, you are sort of, well, I don't, I don't know what happened there. Um, the person you're dealing with, this is someone that can say stuff they don't really mean. Uh, this person can often be in their ego. They can, well, maybe they drink too much or something about, either way, <laughs> being too drunk or being too uh, high on their ego. Either way, it's not a good, <laughs> it's not a good combination for someone that wants to, um, you know, show their best, uh, best side, uh, let's say, and pursue a relationship. Because this person here, they're very, very obsessed with you. They do think uh, that you are attracted to them. This person think that they are all that. And they think that everyone thinks they are all that. <laughs> um, and they also think you uh, are very attractive. But this person could be very much sort of digging themselves. <laughs> they, I think that they might have rubbed you up. Uh, up the wrong way, Libra, with one or two ridiculous stunts here. Something that made you think, oh no, they are definitely not the one. But then when you 
I've got them on a distance, you are also reflecting and like, well, you know, we have a deep bond here. I, I have a deep bond with this person, what really happened, right? So, you know, being a Libra, I think most air signs are quite open-minded, don't hold a grudge, can definitely react to a situation there and then, but then, you know, getting in, in perspective. So let's see here, we're going to clarify this person. Now, this is someone that in their environment, they have the 10 of pentacles. So it could be either this person, it, they live very well, they have a wealthy family, perhaps. Uh, this is someone that could have a legacy around them. It's very important to them. And um, that's very important for them to have a property, for instance, or say they have a property. I see that this person, they do want a new chapter with you. This is someone also, though, that can... See, their intentions is to get attention from you. They're obsessed about getting attention from you. But then their weakness is that they don't always invest more than the bare minimum because they are so um, caught up in, in receiving attention, right? And then they... They are very, I see someone kind of running around a little bit, um, being immature, being very sort of, yeah, it's like they're very restless, this person. Mm, perhaps you calm this person's ways. Uh, with you, they are quite together, but you're seeing something <laughs> from this person that is not what you are looking for or you cannot really put up with. So you might have been in a commitment with this person before. Um and this chapter closed. Now, Libra, this person here, they look at you as someone they want a traditional relationship with. But again, this person here is, their intention is quite deluded as well. This is someone that, right, in their surroundings, they could again have, this is someone they live like well, it looks like they, they but sometimes this person lives in other people's property, but for them, it's very important to have this kind of traditional ways around them. And with you, they experienced so much happiness and you and them could also be from different parts of the world, right? They're very proud to be with you. This person wanted to show you around as well. So I see this proudness but you know their intentions here is um, their intentions is to kind of in with this connection they're also indulging in fantasies. It's as if um, perhaps this person have addictions and with you you didn't really tell them to stop or you didn't pass a judgment, so they just continued and they let their hair down with you. You never really told them oh you cannot do this or you didn't pass any judgment. You just let them be how they are. And there are so many people that let this person be just who they want to be without judging them. So, and on the quite the contrast to how they live, so they could be sort of under the thumb wherever they live, if they are in a third party or third party is a family, such as a parents, um, grandparents, or just close family, something like that. So this person could be quite rebellious and with you, they they were able to just be, uh, ha, ha, you know, they, you just never passed any judgment on them, uh, Libra. But, you know, see here, the, the High Priestess and the Hierophant here and the Ten of, of Pentacles. So I see here that this person here, see, they're very traditional, uh, the way they think. But they're romantic, but they are not always so grounded. They're just, is, is, this person is a mystery. And I think that that's what attracts you to them. I see Libra that you and this person have that, both of you are very mysterious when it comes to your feelings. You believe that both of you could be very spiritual. You believe there is something you know else in this world. Um, you both do really connect uh, in this, outside of this world type of way you both could have spoken about it if you don't speak about it you just know you can actually do this astra travel where they show up in your dream you show up in their dream but it's it feels very real and it could actually be real it's quite a um a very strong connection in that way and um, and that 
bond is still there, but the happiness between you two came to an end because this person's attentions, your person's attentions here, they spilled the cups over because they were indulging to, I don't know what they were doing, but they were carried away. I see them carried away with a dream, with a, an indulgence, and they were living beyond their means. Uh, something about living beyond their means here. And they wanted to work together if it was up to them, like they will they will be working with you or you have it, your business, but this is someone that might not do anything because they're too busy running around getting attention. They're too busy running around, um, right, uh, telling everyone what, like what, how well they live. So see here, uh, Libra, we have, see here, the, the judgment, the seven of swords, the three of swords. See, this, this way, this behavior of theirs, it's really now now they are suffering that this is they know that this union probably is beyond repair um and they're being judged for their behavior their risky behavior there's very risky behavior and it's all about getting attention for them but at the same time they believe that they are following tradition you know, they're from a good family and they are spiritual, right? So yes, that's great. But they have clearly indulged, done something that have been harmful to themselves and that has caused an ending to this connection. So Libra, we're going to look into you. You still are feeling in touch with this connection with this person here. Now it's possible we have the Knight of Swords here. You have the King of Swords there. Well, is it possible they're going through an ending? They are maturing. Only you will know that, or this person could be a new person. But let's see. Uh, Libra. Uh, some of you might have uh, Pisces as a moon sign. Could also have Cancer as a moon sign. Libra. Okay, what is it? That is around you and your it's showing up in your surroundings. What are your feelings, attitudes, and expectations? And what are your intentions? Some of you could also feel like there was something between you two that was even also hard to come to different worlds, or there was you know a lot of things in between. You have also the chariot chariot is war sometimes right depending on that could also be a factor right so there is different factors around here um in the way all right it keeps shuffling but i'm done now okay you see this connection as there is something to do with world falling apart and ruins um see you still believe in this connection here there's mutual attraction yeah, the cups, too many cups spilt over uh, in this union. Someone that is at a distance from you, perhaps that went to war with you, or they did something that was, again, uh, over on their side, was very ego-based. There's, yeah, could be, I don't really go into details uh, about anything I don't really see, but, you know, you have to apply that how it resonates. So, it's clear that something has happened to a person that you're dealing with that's quite difficult for them and it has affected you um, and it has affected this union to move forward. So you could have an Aquarius coming towards you, but this is other people, new people. Uh, right. I see here a uh, Libra. The person that is over here, it's clear that it, it's ended. They have tried to come back, but you have, I believe it's you that have let them know that you are not moving forward, but 
it has been difficult for you to stick to this decision because they might yeah, there is is difficult regardless it's difficult for two people but you have decided that is your decision what you want libra i see it is uh to be in a union that is colorful it's uh, happy and um, without obstacle and you feel that you can see this type this type of union you have your eyes in that direction libra so whether you have already met someone or there is yeah there's just something or someone on your mind you are saying i'm wondering about this connection this is the person here that is um you're not expecting to come in or yeah it's something like surprising this could also be someone that you know already but you were not romantically involved with Someone that is one of your opportunities, Libra, it says here that if you reach out to them or there is a possibility here for communication, definitely. Um, and I see that you are leaving someone behind. Libra, I see that you have decided that regardless, regardless now what someone returned to you with or whatever attention, whatever it might be, you are not going to be there. You are, see, the, the, there could be some confusion because I see there is some kind of confusion because of, let me clarify, <laughs> um, something to do with the moon energy. You might take some time to heal because we also have the four of swords. You don't really think of love or you don't really want to move forward with love because it's clear here that uh, a union that disappointed you a lot, someone disappointed you that it fell through. You are happy it fell through because if it didn't fall through, you might have been in a situation where you have to live under the same roof as someone that has an addiction. It's very difficult to to be around. Um, you also see here that alone, you can achieve a lot more. And you can achieve wish fulfillment. You can achieve this two of cups. Someone has their eyes on you. Someone thinks that you are their wish fulfillment. I have something to do with travel or distance, but there could be blocks. Blocks even to, you know, feeling, is it the right time to communicate or can I reach this person? You are looking towards the new. I can definitely see that. But first, you need to heal. You need time alone. You want to get more depend independence as well. You could see counsel from wise ones, again, your spirit guides, your family. There is a time where you need to take to yourself before you reconnect or connect with someone. So very interesting. So Libra, I definitely pick up here that the person that you have separated from, this could be a fire sign, this connection have been there, done that, it is come to an end. You are now changing direction. You have decided that I have what I need in front of me. I, There is no longer this happiness in this connection. It is time to just keep Keep not looking back. And as you do that, there is someone here with air in their chart that is coming your way. This is a, it could be a twin flame. There could be, in terms of the signs, I don't really see one specific sign, to be honest with you, but I see someone here that is, they don't express their emotions. Um, 
on a, from a distance, you would not be able to tell. You would have to come quite close. They would have to travel close to you. And this is someone that would like to, it's like do something casual, get together as friends. Um, it's a different type of connection that you will enter Libra compared to the one that you were in. But it won't take you long and you will realize that it was absolutely the right decision. You will find something out about this person that you've departed. They are on a bit of a, a downward spiral by the looks of things. And uh, you might have dodged a, a major bullet by not being around them. It, sees, it looks like someone is not really, yeah, they're not really... Um, helping themselves so they're not reaching out for help either this is someone that likes they want to do things their own way regardless they don't want any help and then you cannot really do much um you are trying to find happiness on your own trying to listen to your inner guidance as well Some of you could be into tarot as well. Like you, you could, it could be a job, it could be a community. You could also be become more spiritual. There's some spiritual practice that you're seeking. Um, some of you could be going towards. Yeah, I was picking up a Virgo, a Virgo that live on a distance. For many of you, yeah, there's someone here that live on a distance as well. Fire sign. This fire sign. This is the last. Um, yeah, it was sort of the last um, hurrah for them. They might not know that, but you know that. This is someone that is quite oblivious. I don't know. They they, they might be from. It's it seems like they are. They have a very solid foundation. They could be spoiled, and this is someone that again they have a big ego. Sometimes you can't even explain why people do. There might be an addiction attached to it. They might be rebellious. They might be spoiled, and they just do what they want they always end up going you know falling into the lap of a good opportunity which is good enough for them for them they don't really care about the drama and the trickery that they get up to when they're in their ego they are used to it it's a lifestyle for them um and then i see that you were just really fed up with it but you're sad as well and you're needing some time to sort of digest um your new beginning some of you might decide to move as well there's a strong magnetic attraction with you and someone, and someone will express love to you. This is either uh, an Aquarius or Virgo. And it's very romantic, flirtatious, it's very sweet. Yes, this is your soulmate, and it's very playful. Um, you could have children with this person here. It's passion. Wow. <laughs> so, wipe off your tears. Uh, Libra, because um, a romantic, <laughs> a new romance is on the horizon. And I think that um, you will very, very, very shortly thereafter realize that, oh, I was wasting a lot of time. Um, I was wasting a lot of time with this person, right? I was part of their sabotage and their endings and uh, part of their journey I don't really need to to witness but you are changing direction and you will experience success by changing your direction it's almost like you're changing direction in the last minute and the the role that you will end up on is the role that you were always meant to be on there is success yeah is a whole different ball game over there with the journey that you're choosing but you it's almost like, yeah, the last minute you choose that journey because I see someone here, you could have got stuck with this person and uh, having to deal with their problems. Um, the high priestess is important here. The person that you will move forward with, both of you could have Pisces in your chart here. Now, this is someone also that's holding on to you. Yeah, a past person will try to reconcile with you. Yeah, this person will try to reconcile with you. Um, they could need anything, something from you regarding legal legalities. They will try to rekindle um, this connection with you as well. 
a fire sign they do want to rekindle uh, this connection but mostly because they need it for their they need something this is someone that act on their needs and wants um but yeah libra you will definitely i see that you are moving towards a connection it's actually a twin flame connection and this moon energy this probably this i know you could have felt sad anxious and sort of oh well there is nothing after this union that is an illusion um libra it is an illusion You are not seeing clearly right now someone that you have spent time with. They, It's almost like their codependency, uh, their ways have made you not think straight. Say yes to an invitation. This could be, yeah, say yes to an invitation. Um. I do see that uh, there's a big change, big change. Yeah. Someone who chase after you, uh, Libra, they could have Libra in their chart as well. Because what's happening here is that you could move into a union. Um, I don't see that. This is someone with Pisces in their chart, right? They could have air and Pisces. You could have air and Pisces. It's a bit of a, yeah. You don't expect this at all. Uh, and the person that you, yeah, it's, it's something that you don't expect. It's almost as you face an ending with someone and you approach a new life path, right? Or you are like, oh, well, I need to, I need to get away from here. Let's get away from here. And when you're in that city, you might be like, oh, and I, I know this person live here or someone is coming your way and, and then there is a message or there, there is something here that is destined about a spiritual connection. Any more messages for Libra about the most final outcome? But this King of Swords is someone very serious. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Uh, King of Swords, you both have a poker face, right? You both have a poker face. You want to sort of reveal. There's something that is not going to be revealed straight away. But um, this could be a Virgo as well. Yeah, it's a Virgo or it is a, an Aquarius. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> you are sitting here putting your makeup on. <laughs> Someone is here to invest in you. But you are ending a situation here. Uh, it might be that, um, you know, here you are uh, the Empress. I do see, uh, Libra, that uh, especially if you have Virgo in your chart, you could move forward with someone that um, has, yeah, it's like, as I see this, you could have Virgo in your chart, they could have be a Virgo. There's a few people here, you know, um, Big win. Hmm. The next connection that you move towards, I see that's a different one. I see it's a different one. That's one that could have a lot of finances involved. Uh, someone is ending a relationship with a, a, an earth sign that you put, that could be your person here. And, but I definitely don't see, I just, I mean, for some of you, again, if you, are very close to this person here because there is a marriage here with the Taurus. But see here, there's also an ending. It's an ending with a Scorpio or this is a fire sign going through it. I see more of this as a fire sign going through it. And now they are sort of stuck with this, with their home. That's all they have, but it's not something that is for them. There's no love in this home. It is finances and they can brag about it, but it's not love. I do predict here to um, air signs potentially getting together, but it's 
Someone is also very jealous of you moving forward. So in their opinion, you're moving forward much too, too soon. You have choices. It looks like when you decide to move forward, you will, you have lifted your heart. You, you have lifted your, I mean, I mean, you have lifted that grief uh, or the disappointment uh, and then there's nothing stopping you. Yeah, I see that you could definitely let your hair down. But whilst you let your hair down, there is a beautiful union taking place, right? This is something that you have manifested. Some of you are moving forward with someone younger, could be younger earth sign, or it's a, an older air sign. That is Aquarius. I still get Aquarius and Virgo. Some of you are moving away from an Aries, but again, it depends on where you're at um, with this Aries, because someone they could come in and offer you commitment here and say that they have ended a situation, but I definitely see that there has been a such sabotage that you have no choice but to leave this person in the in the past, uh, Libra. You, you just feel that, no, it's too late. It can be that someone went away, they have children, right? And you are saying that, no, I cannot... Well, now it's too late, you have family, or there's something about you are sort of, no, it's really too late, right? Yeah, there is an air sign, definitely. For many of you, it, it's an air sign that could seem very serious at first. This could turn into a twin flame when you realize this is a twin flame. Yeah, see here? It, it could be an Aries that you are trying it over again with. It is possible, it is possible. But regardless of the sign here, regardless of the sign, it's... I'm picking up that you are moving into the new. It feels new. This is a, a connection with a lot of abundance. To people that work hard. Uh, to people that work very hard and that you you respect each other for working hard you still have time for love uh, i see it's not uh, a showstopper maybe yeah it could feel like a bit confused at first is that you know is this love <laughs> can this work right because it happens out of the blue and it's yeah it's quite sudden yeah for some of you libra you are moving forward with an aries It's a Pisces and an Aquarius. But it does say here as well, be careful with someone that suddenly show up when you have got your mind on another, completely on another path and you were about to, to settle down and some someone come towards you and they like all of a sudden, they, they give you the rundown. See here as well, they have like two maps. One they already use for themselves and then they have another one for you. So that, uh, keep in mind with that, it's like, wow, now you have suddenly changed or they could be like, oh, you know, it was always you. And this was just to, you know, I needed a house and a family and a baby and, and now I can move forward with you or some, yeah, be, look out for someone that suddenly, like right now when you are exploring a new connection and when you have got yourself out of that moon a bit sad, you know, um, anxious or just a bit sort of confused energy, watch out for someone that could come in and be that because they could show up as a magician here and I don't really like it yet. There is someone here. Be careful of that. It's that because you might fall into the trap of someone like, oh, you waited for them to say that all along and finally they tell you that in Ten of Pentacles. And But why now, right? Why now? So that could come in like like a you know a tower right it's um but again they might have healed here but not everyone right not everyone so i see libra you will 
you will take the balanced approach as some of you could also move forward with Aquarius here. We have Capricorn, we have Libra as well. But I do see um, also a new romance, beginning of a new romance as well. Yeah, most of you will definitely explore a new romance. See, you will find out here. You There's someone here that you will find out something about, unfortunately. Could have Scorpio in their chart as well. There's just an energy here of someone that have no shame of what they say to get what they want. And they come in last minute. They've done it before. So uh, it could be a Leo I'm getting as well. Um, I think that was it. I'll add a few more of these out here. Because someone is also um, trying to play on your heartstrings. I don't see you actually feeling hurt. I just see... Like this person have always a tendency to come back with the wheel of fortune. Maybe this is the twin your twin flame. That's that's why. Mm -hmm. They keep sabotaging a new beginning. Happiness, expansion, joy. There is someone you're saying no to. Could be an engagement here as well. So some of you could be dealing with a karmic twin flame, right? They come back and it's it's very exciting. Um and a twin flame, you will always hear them out. But I see that you, you have experienced this very intense connection, Libra. And now you want a different type of connection because this intensity, it's, you don't really want to be on that journey face to face with this person anymore because they are up and down all over the place like a roller coaster. The way they run a relationship is not, no longer the way you, um, you you see a relationship perhaps perhaps at some point um you know you were into drama or you know this this connection work was working maybe you were in a relationship you were younger or something and i just see that you are changing this person something about them not changing that's what what i'm i'm seeing here so be aware of this person returning um when you have you know, you, you started your new journey, Libra, and um, this this journey here ha is bringing success to you. S something about you being brave and going with it, it's going to give you that new wind, uh, fresh, uh, fresh, um, something about fresh start, yeah, and a and success that you are doing on your own and you're not really thinking of this person. This person might always wanted to have, you know, a, they claim the success in a way as well. Something like that. There's a catch with this person. There's a karmic catch. Yeah. Uh, Libra, keep in mind here, you might be pushing yourself to exhaustion. Enjoy yourself in between all your hard work. It will all make sense to you soon. If you need to break the rules, do it with conviction to make a difference. Rejection is for your protection. Yeah, here it is. A detour is available to you right now that can be of benefit. So Libra, these were the messages I had for you. Please uh, like, subscribe, share the video. Thank you for watching and uh, have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you very soon.